What's up guys, it's Chris, you're watching Plumbing Explained, and this is Unclogged, episode 14. So this was a call for originally a clogged washing machine, um, and he thought just coincidentally he had a leak in the ceiling that had caused his fire alarms to go off, which is why I have the video completely muted, because in the background it's just a bunch of beeping, and it would get really annoying to listen to. So this is all on the second story. Uh, the customer had called and said that his washing machine pan was holding water. So I came out to take a look and I could immediately tell that whatever had happened likely would cause the master toilet to overflow or, you know, fill into the ceiling through the uh, compromised gasket. And with just a little bit of investigation work, I found out that I was right. So I asked the customer had he had any problems with this particular toilet uh, recently because they had just moved into the house. He said he had to plunge this toilet a couple times, which bingo, I'm sure he blew the seal when he plunged it. And he probably just moved the clog a little bit further down the line. So I flushed the toilet and to my surprise, for, it took the first flush just fine. But I could tell by the way it flushed that it was going to back up. I flushed it a second time and boom, it backed up. So now I knew that just by the layout of the house and the way everything sounded with a little bit of uh, asking a few questions to the customer, I knew that his laundry probably drained. Uh, the laundry ties into the main line, which was probably before this clog and... Uh, Bingo, it overflowed into the ceiling through the compromised wax ring that he compromised himself by plunging just a few days prior. And if you notice just a second there, what I pulled off of the flex shaft knocker looks like dental floss. Uh, it's some type of stringy type material. I've pulled it out before many times out of a few different uh, drains. It's always from second story drains. I don't recall ever pulling it out of any single story drains typically always second story master bathroom drains and the only thing i can assume it is is dental floss it looks like dental floss uh it's really sturdy stuff it doesn't break so i don't know if you flush dental floss down the toilet you definitely should not be doing that it turns into like a little hardened baseball down there and it's extremely hard to unclog this drain was very difficult to unclog you can see it's still holding water there so i fill up a five gallon bucket to see Maybe this is just a uh, flange that has a negative grade and it always holds a little bit of water there. This is a great way to test your line. Always fill up a five gallon bucket. Don't just use the angle stop and supply line. The angle stop and supply line sometimes, it won't give you the volume you need to see the clog. So as you can see there, I poured the five gallon bucket in and a little bit of water is already draining down through the pipe because it's not completely blocked. Now, if I was just pouring, filling that line with the angle stop and supply line, it probably wouldn't have even clogged up. That little bit of water would have just found its way past uh, whatever's holding the clog back. And because I used that five gallon bucket, it completely clogged the line push the debris probably completely closed over the line now and that's why it's very very slowly draining which uh allows me to know i need to hit this line again with the snake in this case we're using the flex shaft not an actual cable machine and uh, if you follow the channel and the unclog series you know what a big fan i have become of these flex shaft machines uh, the rigid one in particular, that's the one I own. I've owned both of them, the 102 and the 204. I sold the 102 before I ever got to really use it. Um, I have a couple bare cables, like a little 12-foot length of uh, basically 102 cable that I use. And I'm definitely going to be purchasing a 102 in the near future. Uh, I regret selling it. So, you know, that's that's pretty good endorsement on my part. I love the 204. It's my go-to machine. I bought mine used from a guy who does a lot of lining. Uh, he's really into the Picote machines, and those are just like a higher-end version of this rigid machine. And uh, again, at one point, I will be buying a Picote as well, but you know, you, you work with what you've got. And this rigid cost me like $900 total. It's typically $1,500 brand new, but I bought it from uh, this guy used because it was broken for $500. I repaired it for 400 so i got i got it for like 900 bucks which is a great deal it's like 600 dollars under retail and this thing has more than paid for itself it's probably paid for itself 10 times over 
So I definitely feel like the flex shaft is a better cleaning machine than the cable machines. Uh, the flex shaft opens up and actually scales the entire inside of the pipe. It descales it, it cleans it from wall to wall, especially when you have the knocker set up correctly. So on this four inch line here, I'm able to really clean the heck out of that pipe. I know that I'm grabbing everything. Uh, fortunately, because the line is still clogged holding water, I'm not able to camera it at the same time. I know some cameras are able to camera through water, but I don't have the nicest camera yet. I'm working towards um, attaining one. I'll be having one soon. Hopefully, we're doing really good. And, uh, you know, the camera is the next thing on the list is a nice camera to go with our rigid flex shaft machines. So I definitely think that the flex shaft was the best uh, tool for this application here. I think a cable machine would have taken me much, much longer. I probably would have got the line unclogged quicker, but to actually clean the line and make sure it wasn't a callback, I would have it would have taken me a very long time with a cable machine. A jetter would have been better here, but again, I mean, I'm upstairs in a master bathroom. There was no clean out access anywhere in this home, anywhere. Uh, you know, jetting up here with the line possibly clogging on you is just not a good idea. My jetter isn't the gnarliest jetter, but it puts out four gallons per minute. And, uh, you know, at 4,200 PSI, four gallons per minute, if that were to back up into this house, that would be some serious damage. So, yeah, I try and avoid that at all costs. If I don't have an outside clean out, I typically try not to run the jetter. I've got some ideas on a setup that I'm going to be going with, with like a little carry around reel that I can pull off of my jetter. And that may be an option in the near future that you see me use here on the channel. But for the time being, you're mostly going to just be seeing cables and flex shafts. So the two machines you see me use the most here on the channel lately are the Spartan Model 81 and the Rigid K9204. And the K9204 blows the Spartan Model 81 out of the water unless you have the dual drums. If you have the dual drums, then it can compete. Otherwise, the 204 is a no-brainer. You need to go with this machine. And if you're comparing this machine to any other like cable machines other than Spartan, don't even do it. Just go with the K9. The K9 is a far superior machine to any other cable machine I've ever used outside of Spartan. Spartan are the only machines that will compare to the K9 series machines. So the K9204 is much more comparable to the Spartan 100 if you're going just drum to drum. Again, the only way the Spartan Model 81 compares to the K9204 is with the dual drum setup that I use. So here's a prime example why the five gallon bucket is extremely necessary, especially if you can get hot water in it like I did for this dump here. So had that just been angle stop supply line pouring down the line there, you probably never would have exposed that partial clog. You would have cleaned up, set the toilet, flushed it, and realized it was still partially clogged. And that would have really upset you. Believe me, I've had it happen before, and I learned my lesson. All right, guys, so we're just about all wrapped up here. I'm going to drop a couple more hot water buckets down this line listen to make sure i hear it drop into the main line then i'm going to clean this area up with some antibacterial disinfectant set the toilet flush it a few times make sure that it sounds good it's flushing good and uh, that's going to be about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe like and comment and take care guys drain me in the pain the brown won't go down time to deploy uncle elroy got the longest snake around need to clear your pipes without any gripes oh uncle Elroy's the guy for the job he's getting shit done without being a slob just give the man a like and go and hit subscribe you're gonna save you money save you time he'll teach you how to plumb and won't charge a dime